Welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. So today I'm going to be actually planting some veggies in these pots. I've got all my root veggies right here, and I think I'm just going to line the pots up here because I'm going to plant a couple root veggies. I'm also going to plant some leeks. So in this pot here, this one's fairly full. I mean, you don't want to go crazy. You don't need to waste a lot of dirt. But it's fairly full because I am going to plant some carrots there now. They're the Parisian uh, Parisian carrots. Actually, I probably plant that on that one. Um, that's also quite full. Um, Parisian carrots, they're a little bit small. They don't go real deep, so they are, you know, they're good for containers, but they won't go really deep. And then I'm planting some, uh, some leeks, which are going to go here, American flag leeks. And that's going to go in this one. It's a little more shallow, less dirt. And then the turnips. Now, I had planted turnips and carrots in here. The carrots are doing well. That's this first row here. Um, they are slower to grow, but uh, the turnips ended up getting eaten by something, and they're about right here. They, there's still some there, but I figure I'll just supplement and grow them in here, and it'll be easier to kind of keep them from getting eaten. All right, so this dirt, this is mostly coconut core with perlite and a little bit of compost, but it's been sitting for, I don't know, about a month and it's rained on it. So I'm sure a lot of the compost is washed out. There's not as much nutrients. So I am gonna add some back in. Now you don't want a lot of nitrogen for root veggies. This one's a five, seven, three. Okay, and there's some calcium in it. So I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of that. Not a lot. I mean, just, just to give it a little bit. Uh, it's not even going to be using it when it's a sprout and it does take a couple, you know, about a week or two for this to kind of go into the dirt anyway. So I'll probably add more in just a little bit. We are definitely adding that as well to these other two, just to give a little bit. You don't want a lot. We're just going to mix that in. So I read that root veggies do not like a lot of nitrogen, but this is gonna be leeks and they love nitrogen. So I'm gonna add bone meal. Bone meal is a nitrogen, basically it's straight nitrogen. If you look, it's 1200. So I'm just gonna add a little sprinkle. Not a lot because they are gonna be young. You don't wanna burn them, but just a little bit. To add a little boost when they're young. And it's really hard to burn them with bone meal, but bone meal is 0 10, 10. And bone meal helps, it's all phosphate, which really helps with growing roots. So if you add these to your root veggies, I think in theory, that's gonna help give them a boost. So first off, let's go with the turnips. Now, turnips need to be roughly around five to six inches apart. So this is, you know, I would say five inches is like this. So we're gonna put kind of little holes. You don't have to do it. You could just sprinkle the seed and then thin them out later. We can put one right in the center. And this might be too densely seeded. I don't know, but I'm just going to put two to three seeds in each, each hole. Maybe a little bit more. It doesn't really matter. You just want to make sure you have enough in there. That's all I needed. And we're just going to cover that back up. And there we go. And I'm putting the leek in between because leeks, onions, any of the alliums, they tend to get pests away. So if it's right in between, I think it'll, the smell will keep the pests away. At least that's the theory. So you want them about four inch spacing in the garden for the leeks. So let, let's just do it the same. No different. Might have to thin these out later, but you know, and I'm, I'm learning too. So you guys are coming along with me. We're learning together, but I try to do research and figure this stuff out the best I can but nothing beats trial and error. So next is a Parisian carrot. So these carrots come with a ton of seeds. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, and they don't need to be sewn really deep, I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle them all around, okay? And then I'll thin them out later. And I like the greens, so I'll just kinda brush it. But it comes with a lot of seeds, so I'm not really wasting any. I'll still have some for next season. Gotta cover these holes back up for the leaks. And finally, we'll just spray these down. Now it rained recently, so the soil is actually a little bit moist, so we're just doing a, a top dressing of water. See you guys back in a couple days once these sprout, and I'll show you the progress. So I finally have some sprouts. So this is the turnip, and these actually sprouted like six or seven days ago. It was, it was quite a while back. All of them, all the seeds that I planted, most of them, I think, sprouted. I mean, I've got to do a lot of thinning out. So I just noticed last night that I've got a whole bunch of these little carrot sprout. And this morning I noticed a couple of these little leeks popping up. They're hard to see. You get some of these pots. They're actually really inexpensive. I just got the same size, 10 of them. 10 more on Amazon for like $11.99. Now I'm not sure how much they'll be later on but i will link to these in the description section of the video for you guys to check out if you want to get them super inexpensive so 10 pots and i like them because they're cloth and so that means that it allows a lot of air to get in yes they'll dry out a little faster but it also makes the plants healthier um, the roots get a lot more oxygen that way and it keeps you from overwatering. it's not they're not going to sit in like puddles if that makes sense so i find it works really well thanks for watching everyone I will see you guys on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.